So we're going to use the game um, category for this particular one. So we're going to call this uh, catch. Anyway, so we're going to use the game. You'll see there's lots of different sprites in here that we can use or different code. Um, and uh, let's get to it. So we're going to create a variable called player. So again, I created, I did make variable, um, already did that. We're going to make another one called taco. Um, but we're going to use our player at the beginning. So we're going to set our taco. We're going to put that in there. So at the very beginning, we're going to create that sprite, not at 2.2. Two. We're going to put it down here, so at 2.4. Um, and the idea is we'll have things dropping down that the taco or the player will catch. So we got set player at 2.4, as I mentioned. Um, and then what we can do is duplicate this and have taco be created at um, not 2.4, but now maybe something along the lines of up here, so maybe 0, 2, uh, or sorry, 2, 0. That seems to make sense. Um, but instead of having it at 0, let's just use a pick random here. And then if I run this again, there it is. Okay, great. So now we've got this forever. We can get more into this. So um, we'll use this. So I guess the, the goal will be that we'll have tacos that will be randomly appearing at the top. Uh, that will gradually be coming down, and uh, at the bottom here, we'll be moving our player back and forth. Um, so let's get started with moving the player back back and forth. So we're going to use that. Um, a way to do that is going to be the A, a and B um, in this case. So we're going to change the X position by 1, and B is also going to be changing X position by Negative one. If I remember that correctly. Oh, no, that didn't. Ah, sprite. We don't have a sprite in there. So we need a player and player. Yeah, I did it wrong. I always do that. Last time I did this uh, as well. So again, we got to make sure that we have a player change. Uh, so A is going to be is on the left-hand side, and we want to move to the left-hand side, so we're going to go negative, and B, moving to the positive side. All right, so now we've got that in order. Great. Um, next is we're going to get our tacos to be falling, so we can go into, uh, again, our uh, forever uh, taco change Y, by positive one, and we can see that, boom, goes really, really fast. So we'll go back to basic, and we'll add a pause in there, just so that it will go a little bit slower. Maybe more slower than that. There we go, it gives us time to move over um, to grab it. We'll do that again, we'll start off here. There we go. Um, now, what do we do when it gets here? So that's where we can come up with some logic. So if, and then the nice thing about here is we have the ability to like touching, touching edge, if on edge bounce, um, we can do those sort of things. So similar to what we've done with the turtle, where the turtle is an, an entity and we can have Sort of a hit box around it or that ability to like pen draw um that's what we can do here with our uh, the game functionality whereas with the leds we're just sort of turning lights on and off and they don't have any properties other than the brightness level whereas this they actually have the ability to interact with two other ones and so we can say that if sprite player is touching 
Paco, we can have um, the ability to change the score. So we can start off, now that we've had a score, well, we should probably start off the score um, beginning to zero. Um, we can also have our set lives to a certain amount as well. So I can say, let's say three lives. If player is touching taco, then this. And now you'll see that I'm getting a whole bunch of scores here um, because what again, once we've had this, I'm, I'm not doing anything. So what I will do now is I will then duplicate this and drag it back up here and it will randomly, uh, so there we go. So again, this is a great way to sort of win occasionally. Um, but again, we're setting this um, and now we've got two tacos here. Um, so it's a real taco, taco Tuesday celebration. Um, so maybe what we want to do instead of um, setting it, we want to move it um, to that location. So we can change set x to certain value. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So we still have the same taco that we're dealing with. Set taco to a random number no oh, I think I picked the wrong one I always do that that uh, and then we need to get the y to be at zero again so let's see what happens here there we are okay so we're starting to starting to come into play here. The other thing now is if it hits here, um, it just sort of stays until we pick it up. So we're picking up tacos off the floor. So instead, maybe if we have it hit the edge, so if it's touching the edge, we can use the same sort of logic. Uh, and instead of changing the score by one, we can have, and now there's two possibilities. We can just have a, a second if statement. The other option is we can have another if statement within here. So if taco is touching edge, um, actually, I don't like that one because the edge is up here as well. Oh, it comes right in. Well, we'll see. I think I think I don't like it and you'll see why in a second because what will happen is set life add life remove life remove life zero remove life one yeah so because it automatically starts off at at that point what we don't want is touching that we want more likely we want to be the location of it um so if sprite x or taco x is equal to a certain amount um then we want it to be that case so then we're not because the edge is all the way around um right this whole border is that case uh, but we don't want that case we want it to be that if um the y value is equal to four um right because again y is down here x is along here so if the y value is equal to four then we can remove that light 
in here, clean that up a little bit. And there we are. So we gain a point. Boom. And then we got the app. All right. So now we've got some um, some gaining points conditions. We've got some losing lives conditions. And then we can have an overall, like, well, if we lose all of our lives, let's just do this, see if we can lose all of our lives. But two, three, there we go. And so since we lost all of our lives, it now says game over. And so that's a very simple um, piece uh, to create a random uh, or a catching taco, catching whatever, catching gold coins, uh, whatever you want in that case. So again, we've got sort of four blocks of code. We've got the starting conditions. So we've got our player, our taco uh, is starting at a random X position um, and Y is equal to zero. We set our score at zero. We set our life at three. And then we've got the ability to move back and forth um, with the button A and button B. And then uh, we've got a very simple forever code. So we're always changing. The taco is falling. Uh, we've got a little pause in there just to help us uh, go through that. Uh, or So it's not too fast. And then we've got these two sort of uh, if statements or an if and then an else if statement. Uh, so if it's the players touching the taco, we uh, get a score and then move it back to the top. Um, of the screen and then if the y of the taco is equal to floor four essentially it's at the bottom there it will remove a life uh, and then put it back to the top so we really are only dealing with two different sprites we don't have to create any clones uh, or anything like that all right so thanks very much i uh, hope you enjoyed this